Hey guys, welcome to the Splunky Blueprint. This video will cover how to infinitely duplicate any wearable item in Splunky 2. Something to note, this is co-op only, but it will work with any combination of players, including local, and is limited to any back or wearable item, aka the capes, the jetpacks. By all means, if you're sick in the head and want to do this with the power pack, go for it. To start off, just make sure that the player furthest to the right at the top of your screen, in this case brown is player 3, is wearing the item before going to the next level. Now that we've gone into 2-3 with him wearing the item, at any point during this level, he can pass it back to players 1 and 2. Now, his role is very simple. Just putting the cape on the ground, continuously whipping it at another player in the right spot. Meanwhile, players 1 and 2, it's going to be a little bit trickier. You want to start off by going into a corner, crouching down and remaining crouched while spamming the pickup X or square button on console repeatedly. When it attaches to your back, simply release the item with RB or R1 or whatever button is mapped to release and go right back to spamming the X. Once it's being held like an item, instead of on your back, do not press the release button. Go ahead and press X one more time to put it safely on the ground and you will have the wearable in the next level. Rinse and repeat this exact same process for any and all players. I'm going to start out by going into the corner here, getting the item off of my back, and going right back to spamming while staying crouched, and waiting for that item to appear in my hands like so. Again, I'm going to press down an X to get rid of it instead of the release button. Give it back to good old player three here. And once we go into level two, four, you'll see all three of us have Vlad's cape. Even though this bug has been around for a little bit, I still get questions from players, uh, whether it's on stream or what have you in the community asking, hey, how do you do that? So I hope this helps. The last component of this, guys, is more of a strategy of when to use it most effectively. Let's say you're on 6-4 and you've managed to find a jetpack somewhere along the way. This will allow you to make it to the sunken city without having to go through all of the necessary steps of ob obtaining the killing to be able to float on past the barriers. You can see here, because player 2 duped jetpack back to player one as long as the player that gave the jetpack remains standing on solid ground it will allow you to have unlimited flight for this level only meaning as soon as you go through the door and you progress to seven one the first level you can see that a jetpack will then appear right on my back and it's going to have the same old properties of any jetpack, but a cool little useful time to use that skip, which will cut down your time to making it to the sunken city and hopefully the cosmic ocean drastically. Quick shout out to Hippie Dangles and Slim Shoddy, who both helped uncover any and all combinations of who can dupe back to who. When in doubt, just remember, the player on the right can always give back to players left of them. I hope this video helps, and if you could, leave a thumbs up and submit just a quick 30-second clip of your most hilarious or epic fail in Splunky 2 for a chance for it to get posted as a short on this channel, and we'll see you in the next one.